Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post today is by Grey Coconut. I find it highly disgusting that some of the people get on here just to sell a language to me that this was created to give us for free. It takes time to learn. If I wanted to pay for a class, I'd pay for an app. I don't knock your hustle. Here isn't the right place to do it because you taking away from fellowshipping. Seriously. What if my friend wants to fly me out to his or her native country and they can't because you've been charging them to learn a new language? Or what if I fail at learning a new language because you cloud judgment by producing a service for a fee? This can even cause resentment. I trust in fellowshipping and researching back to get a keep better grip on my educational training development. It's nobody else's job to teach you a second language. If you want that service provided to you, you're going to have to pay the fee required. This next one is by Mokui. Sony is convincing players to stay at home by offering free PS4 games. I get it from both sides. It's good that they gave free games, but the majority of the community have already got or played them, so the kind offer is a big waste actually. While it may seem like a waste to those who have already played the games or, you know, gotten the offer in the past, it isn't a waste to those who haven't gotten the offer already, and I'm pretty sure there's quite a bit. This next one is by Taco Steve 2019 Age of Civilizations 2 Europe is a grand strategy war game that is simple to learn yet hard to master. Make the freaking full game free! Make the freaking game free or update the demo so you can create worlds and etc. Now, I'm not sure if they update that game often, if it's a new game or whatever, but my guess would be the updates would probably come by people who actually pay for the game, not sit here and demand it for free. This next one is by Cotton Candy Skies Through. You are absolutely beautiful. You should post topless with your hair up top in a messy bun and post it to r slash hairbunsxx. <laughs> if you hold paper with your reddit name and r slash hairbunsxx in photo, I'd love to verify your account on there. And if you send me a private photo, just like the verification, but with for Gabe, written on paper, I can't even change what your verification tag says. So instead of just verified, it could say verified blank, whatever you'd like. Example, verified queen, or whatever fits you the best. You get to choose. You can send the photo to kick, beggar, or you can send it privately on Reddit to me. I hope to see your beauty being shown off on r slash hairbunsxx. Let me know what you'd like to do, babe. <laughs> I can even sticky your post so it stays at the top so it gets more publicity and likes. So if that interests you, let me know and I'll let you know what to do. <laughs> if this doesn't scream, I'm alone. Please, please show me attention. And please also send me some topless pics. I don't know what does. This next one is by Nicole Wow. Hi. Hello there. I was wondering if you could draw me. I'm sorry, but I don't do requests. Even if I did, it would cost some money. Come on, please. If you're willing to pay, then yes, I will. You're being ridiculous. Who do you think you are? You shouldn't charge money for that sort of thing. Oh my god, you're so right. I should do it for free. Well, what do you want me to draw? Me and your amazing art style. Okay, coming right up. Sense pick. There you go. You bitch. You know what? Your art is shitty, and I absolutely hate it. It's making my eyes bleed. Well, why did you request a drawing from me if you hate my art? Hmm, that's a good question. Clearly, they just wanted something for free, and even though you provided that for free, all of a sudden, it wasn't that top quality, what, you know, you would pay for type service? This next one is by Forklift Daddy. Yes, it is. 200. Deal. When can you come and get it? You free tomorrow? 
Um, Sunday. I'm free Sunday. What time works for you? 12 to 1. Alright, here. I'll see you Sunday. Thanks. Okay, it's not that much long. Only five men from here. Perfect. See you then. Have a good night. You too. Do you have case too? Unfortunately, I do not. Sorry, I only have 150 now. I use 50 for my personal thing. Well, the deal is 200. If you don't have 200, don't come. Alright, I will try to manage tomorrow. Sends pick. I want that too. I can't give you that. It's screwed into the stud in the wall. You can buy three on Amazon for cheap. I don't have cards, so it okay. Guitar Center and Sam Ash sell them at their stores too. They have stores by the Beggar's Mall. Alright, still available? Yup. I have only 120 now. Dude, that's even less than the 150 I said no to last time. I don't have to sell the guitar, so I'm not selling it for less than it's worth. Thumbs up. Beggar, if all you have is $120 to work with now, your best bet would probably be investing that in a good used beginner guitar, because chances are you won't even play this. This next one is by GXZZYMO. Is this real life? There's a young, decently dressed guy begging in the Starbucks drive through line. Like, doesn't look like he's gonna spend my money on crack. So I gave him my change out of my car door handle thingy. Then he says, I don't like taking pennies. No, there was plenty of quarters, etc. in the handful I grabbed. Like, what the fuck? Now we're being picky? Then he comes back and says, Thank you, ma'am. And says, Can I ask you a question? I'm like, uh, sure. Why did you get all those tattoos? Get the fuck out. I want my change back. Pennies and all. If this guy really needed money that bad, any change would do. Pennies and all. This person is just setting the prime example of beggars can't be choosers. This next one is by Couldn't Think of One. In search of small desk and a couch for free, you have to haul it to my friend's place and put it in her house. And what are you offering the person who's going to bring this small desk and couch for free? Any gas money or are you just expecting it 100% for free? And our final post today is by CH Fitness. Hey, give me a fitness plan. I can absolutely help you out with that. Do you already know the details of my plans or should I explain it to you? The other question I want to ask you is what you intend to get out of this plan. After that, I can get started making a plan for you. Yeah, I just want to get some muscles during quarantine. I have a full home gym, but I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I need to get my fat ass off the couch and into the gym, you know? Just want to get big, basically. I can definitely help you out with that. I can give you a full set of exercises that you can do that'll help take advantage of that home gym of yours. Just give me a full list of equipment, and I should be good to go. For the diet plan, I also need your measurements. Example, weight, height, that sort of thing. That's to calculate calorie intake and how much protein you need to eat to gain muscle. Yeah, so I just have a home gym and I'm 6'1", 170 pounds or something. Excellent. I'll get started straight away. The total cost comes to 50 euros to be made payable to blank at gmail on PayPal. <laughs> You're fucking tapped if you think I'm paying you 50 goddamn euros for a fitness plan. Do it for free. I don't think you realize I'm a fitness consultant, not a charity. You either need to pay me or get no fitness plan. No two ways about it. Who the fuck do you think you are? You're a fucking nobody. Who the fuck do you think you are? You're a fucking nobody. I get 20 bands a week and you're thirsting for 50 fucking euros? <laughs> I won't go down to petty insults. I hope you have a nice evening. Can't believe you had the sheer audacity to waste my time like that. No, beggar. You wasted both yours and their time by begging and wanting something for free when you know that services cost money. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. 
Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.